In the history of the Indianapolis 500, there have been 77 different drivers to have finished second in the race. 20 of them have at least done it twice. Of those 20, only 7 have done it without winning an Indy 500. And of those 7, only 1 has never won an IndyCar race. That one driver is Vitor Mira. Vitor Mira was born on March 27, 1977, in the federal capital of his home country of Brazil. From an early age, Mira pursued racing dreams. By the age of 12, he was competing competitively in karts. And after nearly half a decade of experience, Mira went on to win the 1995 Formula Ford Winter Series Championship at the age of only 18 years old. During that season, Mira won three times and had four podiums in five races. In 1996, Mir moved to the European Formula 4 Championship Series, where in 10 races he achieved no podium finishes. Mir also ran the Formula 4 Festival for Van Diemen, where he was outside the top 20 in the race. Meanwhile, Mark Webber, also driving for Van Diemen, went on to win the race. Mir also ran the 1996 Slick 50 Formula 4 Championship. He won in that series and had 5 podiums, achieving a 4th place in standings. In 1997, Mira ran in the Formula 4 Great Britain division, where again, he won and had three podiums. Mira also that year ran the Mil Mahas Brasil Endurance Race, one of the most well-known races in Mira's home country of Brazil. In the endurance race, he finished third with co-drivers Athos Denise and Alex Bachega. The winners of the event were Johnny C. Soto, Nelson Piquet, and Steve Sopa. In 1998, Mira again ran in the Formula 4 Great Britain division. Where he achieved another win and four more podiums, along with another fourth in standings. In 1999, at the age of now 22 years old, Vitor moved to the South American Formula 3 Division Series. He won twice, achieving sixth in standings and having seven podiums. He also ran in the 1999 Mill Mahas, where this time luck wasn't on his side, and he finished 19th. In the year 2000, Mir had a breakout season. Driving for Amir Nazar Racing, he won 8 of the 18 Formula 3 division races and claimed the championship. This opened the door for many options in 2001. He ran the Brass Car Endurance Series and won. He ran the 2001 Middle Mahas race, but again had misfortune. He ran one race in Formula 3 Italy Federal Class Division, coming up with a podium. And finally, in the 2001 Euro 300 division, he came home 5th in standings with 3 podiums. For 2002, Mira was ready to break onto the scene. Mira continued to run some minor league events and races in his home country, but nearing the second half of 2002, he got an opportunity. He was permitted to participate in an open test for Panther Racing at Texas Motor Speedway. He impressed enough to get an offer to drive for Team Menard, starting at Kentucky Speedway. He finished 15th in his debut, before following it up with a 9th, 8th, and then winning the pole at Texas Motor Speedway before coming home 3rd in the event. He didn't get an offer to run for a team until the Indy 500 in 2003, where in his rookie start in the event, he made his first attempt with fellow rookies Scott Dixon, Dan Weldon, Kenny Brack, Tony Renna, and Buddy Rice to name a few. He finished 12th and ran well enough to give him a ride from there on. Mira ran the two car, achieving a best finish of 9th at Gateway. And after his first top 10 of the season, he was injured in a practice crash at Kentucky. He missed the next three races. However, at Fontana and Texas, he finished 11th and 4th, finishing out 2003. Outside of his Indy season that year, he also attempted the Middle Mahas in Brazil again, coming up with his best finish ever in the event, a second place. In 2004, Mira had no contract for an IndyCar season, but was finally offered to drive a race-by-race -race deal for Ray Hall Letterman Racing. He finished 17th at Motegi, before another 6th place at Indy. He then finished 6th again at Texas. The next race at Richmond, Mira nearly broke through and claimed victory, but came up one spot short to Dan Weldon. The next race at Kansas, Mira got even closer, 
about as close as you could come to winning. Still undecided. Money came off of two a little bit better. Now they outside, thunder outside. into turn still three. Outside. Final two corners in this run here. And it's outside. still a question outside. mark. Vitor Mira drops back just a bit. Now he pulls up alongside and at the line. Mira. No right. At first the computer gave us Mira. And, and then it gave us Rice. Racing teammate Buddy Rice, he lost for the second straight week. The next race, Mira ran good again at Nashville, leading the most laps. Issues ensued, however, and he finished 12th. He ran decent throughout the rest of the season, achieving 8th in final standings. Ray Hall Letterman kept him on for 2005, where again he started the year off decent. Coming into the Indy 500, he again was 8th in standings. And throughout the mythical day of Danica Patrick's infamous 500 run and Dan Weldon's first Indy win in what turned into a historic year for him, the man that finished second through it all was Vidor Mira. Although much of the attention was on Weldon and Patrick, Mira surprised everyone and came home second again. While Indy 500 may have seemed to be his best run of the year, that actually came at Kentucky. Will this be the lap that Vitor can turn the trick? Setting him up, having a look. Make it happen. Look at you go, baby. Look at this happen. Adam turn number four. Right, Mira takes a look go. at Scott Good Sharp job. at the line. Scott Sharp, number eight, the first win this season. Again, for the fourth time in his career, he comes up second. He finishes the year out seventh in standings, and for 2006, Vidor moves to the number four car at Panther Racing, where again he comes up short. He finishes second to Scott Dixon at Watkins Glen, second to Sam Morris Jr. at Richmond. In a day where he led 75 of 200 laps, he comes home second to Helio Castro Neves at Michigan. Six podiums from Mira in 2006, where half of them were second places. He did eventually finish fifth in overall standings. During that season, he also ran some endurance racing, attaining various success. 2007, him and Panther Racing regressed in success. No podiums, only three top fives, and for the entire season, it put him 12th in the final points. 2008, things got even worse. With only one top 10 throughout the opening part of the year, Amira went to Indy looking for a rebound. He dueled late with Scott Dixon chasing him near the end of the race, but got caught up in lap traffic. For the second time in his career, he finished a second in Indy 500. And for the eighth time in his career, he finished a second overall. At the end of 2008 and going into 2009, Amira moved to AJ Foyt Racing. For the opening part of the year, he ran mediocre. But at Indy, his season, and possibly his career, hit a roadblock. After a fire in the pits, the team recovered and kept Mira going. But then nearing the finish, this happened. He certainly does. We've uh, followed TJ Patrick uh, through a number of places. There you see, oh no, we've got contact. Hard contact, oh. two cars into the wall very hard, and that is Vitor Mira. Made it through the fire, but did not make it through this as he is hard into the wall, along with one other car at the top of the screen. And it is Rafael Matos, we are being told, the number two. Mir suffered two broken vertebrae, taking him out for the rest of the year. He was replaced with Ryan Hunter Ray, who saw similar results as Mir's early season run. In 2010, Vitor was back, and in his return, he came home third, while the comeback and start of the season seemed like a bright spot for them. That would turn out to be their best finish of the season. Mir would eventually finish 12th in overall standings, and in 2011, Mir again ran for AJ Foyt. This time, they came home 16th in standings, and after the tragic race of Las Vegas, Mir stepped out of IndyCar. In 2012, Mir went back to his home country of Brazil and began racing many of the local series in the country. In 2015, he won the Copa Petrobras de Marcas Championship, ironically, without a win in the season. Since his title, Mira has drastically reduced his racing schedule, and his last event on record was competing in the 2021 Porsche Endurance GT3 Cup Series, where he attained a podium finish in his only start.